Hey guys, Kenny with Ugly Tent. I wanted to give you a product review on this VanQuest Ibex 26. It's a 26 liter pack, but it's so much more. It is a workhorse. Uh, it's very durable, rides very comfortable, but I'll get into all that during the review. VanQuest sent, sent me this before it was released. It gets released later on this month. And you can pre-order this pack. Uh, the release date is May 28th. But they wanted me to test it out and give them some feedback on it. And I'm really excited to be working with VanQuest on their gear reviews and gear testing. But anyway, for the short amount of time I've had this, I've put it through more paces than any other pack. I had really worked this thing. I took it to the Dade Canterbury School, uh, Basic Survival School. I've had it out hiking numerous times. I've had it out bushwhacking. Um, it has performed flawlessly. I'm really happy with this. But let's take it down, take a look at it, and uh, give you a good review on it. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice about this, or the first thing I noticed about this, was the, the belt. It is extremely stiff, but they did that for a reason. It is padded, but it's a, it's a very hard foam, and then of course the padding here on the small on your back. But the reason they did that is so that it would ride more like a, a, a traditional backpack, so it'll ride more comfortable. Now you can remove this belt. It's very, uh, very hard to do, but you can remove that belt if you don't want it. And on this belt, you'll notice that it has the molly webbing to add pockets or pouches, which is going to be very handy because you can remove this canteen to one of your hip belts, which frees up more molly webbing here. Also on the belt, you'll see the quick release tabs. These are fantastic. This is something that I love on my backpacks, and not all of them have it, but I wish they did. So once you buckle your waist belt, all you have to do is just pull those in and it tightens up. When you're ready to release, just pull on the tabs and you'll release. And you can see in the back here the high density foam and the uh, frame sheet. And with your straps, you've got the same high density foam, you've got your molly attachment points, and you've got the load stabilizers up top on the backpack to draw in your pack uh, around your shoulders and your neck. And I put a, uh, I've got an extra headlamp that I just happened to attach and I've got it attached to this point right here. This is heat and chemical treated and this is UV stable. So again you see it throughout the pack on the sides here the molly with this Hepalon, uh, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right, Hepalon or Hepalon uh, material. It's, it's it's kind of a rubbery plastic. It's very, very strong though. Very, you can tell it's a, it is very, very strong. You've got your adjustable and removable sternum strap with a built-in whistle. And then you've got your you got your elastic down here towards the bottom of the buckles and underneath is a quick release. That's a nice little feature that a lot of backpacks don't have. And it's also got the slide release. And all the straps come with the, the system to secure the, the excess to keep you from having all that loose stuff dangling around. Banquest calls these anchor wraps and it's just two Velcro on both sides. One side's hook, one side's loop. And they include two of those on this pack. They do have three grab handles on it. You've got a grab handle on top and one on each side. Love the side grab handles for many reasons. When you're wearing this uh, as a backpack, you can actually sling it around one side using the grab handle and get into your pack without taking it off. Total weight on this is 3.95 pounds, so basically four pounds uh, when it's naked. So this has the the webbing on the side that secures in the shock cord. And I found myself using this shock cord a lot. And it will hold a heavy item or heavy items. And I use this for a lot of stuff. So I really like the shock cord on the outside. I'd rather have the shock cord than I would a pocket, to be honest, because you can do so much more with it. And on top, you've got a real nice pocket here, a real deep pocket on the lid. And the great thing about this is it actually rides through the inside. 
And these are durable RC class YKK zippers. So on your top lid, this goes to the same spot as this. So you can access this pocket from either side, which I think is brilliant. And on the inside, you've got your ripstop nylon. You've got your four compression straps here with a quick release and a quick adjustment. One, uh, two on the top, and then you've got two underneath on the bottom. And again, this is to help compress your load. Let me take this off so you can see the, the Molly and the way it's set up. I've never had the laser cut molly. I wasn't sure what to think of it at first. Kind of skeptical, but I found I really like this. This is some high quality stuff. This does, this isn't cheap plastic. This is stuff that you're going to be able to uh, count on when it comes to it. And this is constructed of 1,000 denier mil spec Cordura on the high stress points and also 500 uh, denier Cordura on the rest of the pack. You got your side pockets. A little bit of loop there and it's got a few little pockets on the inside that you can if you need to secure some items and the pockets are very deep I mean that's a that's a pretty good that's a substantial size side pocket and again the same thing is repeated on the other side with the molly in the side pocket. Same setup. So one of my favorite things about this pack, it's not overdone. You don't have a lot of uh, little tiny pockets inside the bigger pockets that you lose track of stuff. A lot like a bushcraft pack, these just have, this just has the the big pockets. Two side pockets, top pocket here, and your main compartment. I really like that. So when you take a look at the inside of the pack, you've got the clamshell design, which is my favorite design of any of the backpacks. I like this way better than a rucksack. That's just me. And again, on the inside, you've got more of the loop to attach items. So if you use their anchor straps, which are sold separately, or you can use the two that are included, you attach stuff to the inside of your pack using the Velcro. Also, you'll see it's got a separate pocket, and it's a, like a mesh pocket. Again, very nice, just one pocket, no additional pockets on the inside. Very basic, the way we like it. And this has the straps here on the side to secure the inner pocket. And this is made for a hydration pouch also because of the strap up here. You see in the back here, it's got a place for the hose to feed through. And then it goes down and rides on your strap. There you go. Or because of the size of it, you can also fit a flat top. And with the padding on this, the construction of it with the 1,000 and 500 denier materials used, I am not afraid to stick a laptop in here. Something to keep in mind with the, this whole thing is padded all the way through. So this could be used for a ground pad for shooting and sit on it, lay on it, uh, whatever I needed to do with it. It does have the loop on the top for your morale patches, which I love my morale patches. Got an extra loop here. This is where I hang my hero clip from, or whatever carabiner, zip tie, whatever you want to use. In the bottom here, you got a, a smaller molly webbing. Uh, it looks to be about three eighths, maybe. 
Uh, you got that, you can run your loops through, and it's also got some loops on the outside, which I used a lot for hanging uh, my jacket or hanging uh, something I needed quick access to or wanted to put up quickly right here. Now, if you want to attach a wool blanket to the bottom, you can use straps to this, which is what I did, or you can use, uh, if you got a bed roll or something you want to put the bottom, then use a heavier strap, you can run it through there. Very, very handy. So on this also, you'll see this came with these two attachments here. These things are brilliant. And let me show you what they're for. They hook on to anywhere there's molly attachments. So these are real easy to attach to the molly webbing. And now you've got a way to attach items to the outside of your pack, like an axe, or a small, this is a small hatchet, pack axe. How cool is that? I just think that is such an awesome, awesome design. So the versatility of this uh, is awesome. You can use this for a Santa ice axe, for, uh, I used it for my Gerber Freescape saw. I put my Freescape saw on here one time and it did great. Never worried once about losing it. Um, trekking poles, whatever you want. And the great thing about these, you saw how easy they were to attach and detach. You can use them on the other parts of your pack, other parts of the molly, even on the shoulder straps. This is uh, water repellent, water treated, and I've had this out in the rain and it did really well. The inside of the contents did not get wet. The bag, ex the bag itself got a little wet but nothing inside, it didn't soak through, so it did its job. The price point on this, this is coming in about, I think the recommended, or the retail price is $175, $174.99. VanQuest has it on their website right now for $160.99. So they've got a little discount going on right now, you can check it out. Very happy with this pack. Uh, love the way it rides, love the, the comfort of it. The, uh, I love the, the strength of it with the 1000 denier and the 500 denier uh, Cordura. So obviously you're going to like this if you're into the tactical side of life. But if you're uh, into the bushcraft, I think you should give this a look. This is your rucksack, the tactical rucksack, basically what this is to me. Uh, I love the way you can attach stuff to it. And I love the simplicity of the design, the durability, the way it fits. I was talking to the head dogs at VanQuest and they were saying, I was saying, well, do you not want me to put um, your competitors' products with this? And I'm like, no, that's what we like. We think it's cool how you mix them up, you know, because we don't always make the stuff that other companies make and that you might need because they know where they're at. They're confident in what they're doing. They know what they've got and they know how to do it right. So thanks for watching another episode of Ugly Tent. Thanks for watching this gear review and I hope to see you on the next video.